So this is your intro for how to demo to via reps as well as partners. For Salesforce.com. For Salesforce. Hi everybody, Dave Petromala, Chief Evangelist for Estna Technologies. Today I'm here to talk to you about Avaya Communicator for Web. And I'm going to focus on the value it delivers to sales and support teams by integrating it natively into Salesforce.com. The first thing is, I want to integrate the powerful Avaya Communicator for Web and the Scopia plugins that live in the browser. So now Scopia and Avaya Communicator for Web live in my browser. Whatever app I open up and consume, I can now have a rich contextual experience. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to authenticate both applications to my Salesforce domain. So now when I so when I open up Salesforce, I'm going to have a rich experience. So in this case, I'm just going to log out of my Avaya Communicator for Web. I'm going to change the account like I'm starting over. And I'm going to pick Salesforce credentials as the defining application I want to integrate my user experience to. So it's going to pull up Salesforce. It's going to ask me for authentication. It pulled up, says, David EP, do you want to authenticate to David EP at S.com Salesforce credentials? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to allow Avaya to be integrated into my Salesforce domain. And instantly, now my Avaya Communicator for Web is authenticated into my Salesforce domain. I'm just going to put in my Avaya password here one time only. And now I bind it the Avaya collabor collaboration infrastructure to my Salesforce domain. Okay, so now obviously all the things we love about Avaya Communicator for Web where I can do click to dial from any web page is great. But now when I actually open up Salesforce.com, I'm just going to reload this. When I log into Salesforce, it detects that it's been authenticated and it publishes the Avaya collaboration services right in my Salesforce infrastructure. So my Salesforce application is my Avaya collaboration client. And because it's actually publishing the OpenCTI framework, it's driving all your live voice and video action. So you'll see here when I'm in contacts, the, the phone is green. When I click that, it's actually initiating a live voice call off my Avaya infrastructure. Now, not only is it initiating a live voice call, it's giving me the ability to log this event in Salesforce. I can log it as a new contact, as a new lead, or to the associated contact. I can I can define things like predefined call results. So when I've done this call, I might say deal closed. Great customer. So I'm just going to hang up and I'm going to log that event. And now not only did I it was Salesforce my soft client, but the activity of engaging with Michael Seely, if I scroll down here, would be logged as an active call activity natively in the UI. The beauty is it's not just click to call, it's real-time collaboration. So if I go to um, things like opportunities, and I'm working on a, an opportunity for Via Communicator for Web, and I see that Ash is the, the owner of this opportunity, I can easily hover on Ash, it'll pull up Ash's contact card, and I can do click to call to Ash right out of Salesforce and initiate a call so I can contact him live to discuss the opportunity. If I didn't want to call Ash, okay, I could just pick up Ash and start chatting. Hey, tell right, so I can actually start talking about the opportunity and then escalate our discussion about this opportunity to a live voice and video call or we can move into a video room. Right? So real-time, not just click to call, but real-time team engagement over any opportunity or any contact. Now, if I want to go one step further and add native video rooms into Salesforce.com, I can easily configure my Scopia to be integrated into Salesforce.com. So I'm just going to go to my extension. I'm going to go to Scopia. I'm going to go to Options. Currently, it's authenticated Office 365. I'm going to log out. I'm going to pick Salesforce. It's going to do OAuth 2 authentication of my Scopia environment, my Scopia video services to my Salesforce account. And now that I'm authenticated to Salesforce, I'm going to have a lot more integration. So if I just reload my Salesforce page, 
I'm still going to have the rich, dynamic collaboration sessions of Avaya Communicator for Web, but you'll notice it'll pick up names. And then when I hover on Ash, I could call Ash, but it picks up email. So you'll see when I hover on Ash, I can call him or start a Scopia session with Ash. So I can click to Scopia or click to call on my team members. If I go to contacts now, think about a service desk or a support department working with a customer. So let's say I'm working with Mike Seeley. I'm going to open up this record. So my Mike Seeley record, you'll see here that I have the ability to call Mike, but I could now create a Scopia session with Mike or hover and create a Scopia session with Mike. So I, now I can click to call, click the video, click to move into a video room from anything within Salesforce, from contacts, opportunities, even in chatter. I could be using Salesforce not for Salesforce or CRM, but I might be using it for marketing teams or for social applications. So again, I might go to a group in chatter and within this group, I'm going to talk to the SNS sales team. Within the SNS sales team, people are posting things. Well, at any time, I might look at Dave's posting and hover on Dave's name and I could start a live voice call to Dave or I could start a live Scopia session with Dave. So one click escalation to live collaboration, voice, video, video rooms from uh, from uh, what I call service cloud, support cloud, sales cloud, or even community cloud. So any Salesforce asset, by simply authenticating to my Salesforce domain, I have access to the Avaya collaboration tools in all my Salesforce assets. So right now I'm in Chatter, I can move to Sales, and the Avaya collaboration client detects it, and it immediately embeds the Avaya collaboration client. And when I go into Opportunities now, Again, I'll open up an opportunity. And I can collaborate with internal users, right, by hovering on them and calling them or Scopia. Or I might even go to the detailed record and I can see associated contacts and even the associated contacts. As long as I have an email or phone number, I can have a live collaboration action associated to them. So again, if I hit Scopia, it's going to start a Scopia with Kieran versus Ash. Rich contextual collaboration integrated throughout Salesforce.com, leveraging the Avaya voice and video infrastructure in the Avaya collaboration infrastructure through Scopia. If you like that and you want to play with it or want more information, there's several things you can do. You can go to demo.avaya.com and that will actually give you the ability to demo and use the product with your customers. And that's available to partners and Avaya people. If you want more information, please visit us online at uh, midmarket.esna.com for more information. And if you want a demo, please, I encourage it, call us, contact us, and one of our regional managers or one of our sales associates will help you out to show you the product, walk you through even more detail than I walked you through today, and get a good sense of what this can do for your customers and for prospective uh, users. Mm -hmm.